Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on two future Hall of Famers and an all time great. We have Triple G, Gennady Golovkin, the two time unified middleweight world champion. He is the current unified middleweight world champion now. Then we have the undefeated former two time WBC super middleweight world champion. And David Benavidez, one of the hottest young stars, the Mexican monster. And then we have arguably the greatest Mexican fighter of all time, Canelo Alvarez, the four division world champion, the current super middleweight undisputed world champion. And we all know Canelo Alvarez is the face of boxing. But Canelo Alvarez want to let David Benavidez know that he ain't nothing special, right? That everybody say they're monsters till they get into the ring with him. I want y'all to listen to what Canelo had to say, and I'll be back with the great assessment, family. He's a good fighter, but I like uh, I say to. to to him, uh, everybody say the same thing when I fought, when I, before I fought with Golovkin, no, oh, he's a monster, he's gonna knock out Canelo, he's this and that, at the end of the day, it's not the same, uh, uh, be in the ring with other fighters, like, be in the ring with me, it's different, and I've been in the ring a lot of years with a lot of hard fights, I mean, but you can't say, no, oh, Benavides, Benavides is a good fight, it's a good fighter, but I mean, Man, I've been in the ring in a hard fight with every single good fighter there, so... <laughs> What I've been trying to tell y'all, man, Canelo was just telling David Benavidez, look, you're a good fighter, bro, but once you step in that ring with me, it's different. You feel me? Now, David Benavidez is a hungry fighter. He on the rise. He hungry. When you're young like that, you know, your testosterone is high. You 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 want to make your name. You think you can beat everybody in the world like you're supposed to. And when you're putting that hard work in, you're supposed to think that way. You're supposed to think that way. You feel me? But when we look at David Benavidez, bro, like Canelo saying, you're not nothing special to me. You're a good fighter, but you're not nothing special to me. I done seen it all, bro. Yeah, you can punch, you can put down the pressure game, but are you smart enough to be in the ring with me because it's different once you win that ring with me? It's different once you win that ring with me. You understand what I'm saying? And that's all Canelo telling David Benavidez. You're a good fighter. I take nothing away from you. You're doing good things, and you know you, de you deserve the recognition that you're getting. But when you fight Canelo Alvarez, man, I'm not these other fighters, bro. I'm not these other fighters. And David Benavidez understand that. He recognized that, but he won his opportunity. Right, that's all he's saying. He wanted his opportunity. I want to get in there. I want to put my skills up against his, and let's see who the best. Now, when Canelo was letting him know about Triple G, when everybody was screaming, "Oh, Triple G gonna knock Canelo out!" Y'all know the first fight, cause we you gotta remember, Canelo was the underdog twice in the first and the second fight. Don't let that go through it. Look, don't let that go over y'all head. Canelo Alvarez was the underdog twice. The first Triple G fight, the second Triple G fight, he was the underdog. You understand what I'm saying? He was the underdog. Right? They kept talking about Triple G was going to knock Canelo out. We all know the power Triple G was cracking with. We all know this motherfucker can punch like a mule. Like a mule. We seen how Triple G was out there knocking people out, right? Go look at that first fight. Did he he, he he hit Canelo with some shots, but he never hurt Canelo where Canelo staggered or nothing like that. And to me, y'all, just to me, Triple G hits harder than David Benavidez, man. Triple G hit harder than David Benavidez. Now, y'all can say, well, Money Brown, you crazy, this and that. No, David Benavidez don't got that one-punch knockout power. Triple G had that one-punch thumper. That thumper. That boom. Put your ass out. We'll put you out. But Canelo letting the world know, like, look her, man. Y'all riding David Benavidez. Y'all talking about he all this, that, and the third. Y'all act like I ain't Canelo. The same thing I was telling y'all, fam. Same thing I was telling y'all. It ain't nothing in this in, in this boxing game that Canelo haven't seen before. It ain't nothing that he ain't never felt before, and he damn sure ain't ducking the smoke. I mean, ducking the smoke with nobody, nobody, man. You fight with nobody. You fight with nobody, man. You feel me? Now, David Benavidez just got his first victory over Caleb Plant, right? A man that Canelo knocked out already, but nonetheless, David went in there. That was the biggest fight of his career. He did what he had to do. Um, dog came and playing in the second half of the fight, and he looked good doing it. And I picked David to win that fight, right? I thought he would have stopped him from the 8th to the 12th, but I had the 10th round stoppage for David. But when we look at the fight, bro, he did what he's supposed to do. Respect to him. But we talking about Caleb and Canelo. Caleb and Canelo, two different fighters. Two different fighters. You know what I'm saying? And Canelo letting him know, man, look. Don't let that hype go to your head, kid. Don't let these people soup your ass up to get your ass beat in that square circle because that's exactly what's going to happen. 
that's exactly what's going to happen. You understand? Um, I got this goal uh, of Dimitri Bivol, who's a tough fight. I got him next. Let me get him up out the way. If I don't fight, then I can, I can come out at you. But let me get him next after, you know, this John Ryder fight. And then we will come see you. We will come see you. That's a good fight. You said it's a good fight. Like I say, now he's on Canelo Radar. Now he's on Canelo radar instead of him being on Canelo. I mean, Canelo been on his radar. Canelo like, okay, now we can do it. You know, after you done went out there and fought somebody with, 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 with a pause. Like real talk. Real talk, bro. You know what I mean? Because you've seen what happened with Zoda Ramirez when he went and fought Demetri Bivol. He got dusted off. Dusted off. And everybody was saying Zerto was going to kill him. He was going to do this. He was going to do that. And I told y'all Bill was going to be Zerto. You know what I'm saying? But with David Benavidez, man, you know, I seen the flaws in him. And I seen what Canelo go take advantage of inside that ring, bro. I seen what Canelo go take advantage of inside that ring. A lot of people thinking that, oh, David Benavidez going to knock Canelo out. Man, he too big. He too strong. He put down the pressure. Canelo go gas. He going to make Canelo do this. He going to make Canelo do that. I'm telling y'all, once that bell go ding, ding. Once that bell go ding, ding. Y'all in for a rude awakening. Y'all are in for a rude awakening, bro. Because Canelo is only getting better now that he fixed his hand. Now that he fixed his hand, oh, he ready for whatever. He ready for whatever. Ain't ducking no smoke. But like he said, everybody said I'm going to get knocked out against Triple G and this, that, and the third. Then I go out there, we get a draw. They don't give me my just due. I go out there, I beat him the second time. They don't give me my just due. I beat him the third time. They don't give me my just due. So when I go out here and I beat David Benavidez, what you think they going to do, man? What you think they going to do, man, if Canelo go out there and beat David Benavidez? What you think they going to do, man? They not going to give him his just due. They going to make up shit. Or he fought a young David Benavidez. Oh, man, that fight was so close. David should have won that fight. Oh, man, he ain't knock him out, man. So what the fuck y'all talk about? Y'all say he supposed to knock David out. Oh, man, they cheat because it's only Canelo, man. Come on, man. We all know what it is, man. It's Canelo, man. Boxing cheat for him. He on steroids. Canelo on steroids. How he take them punches from David? David hit him with everything in the kitchen sink, and he's still standing. He didn't even get buzzed. He on steroids. Y'all gonna make up all the excuses in the world, bro. So it really don't matter. Canelo, he, he, he know it, though. He know it. He like, all right, once I put this kid ass down, I'm going to see what y'all going to say then. Yeah, I'm going to see what y'all going to say then. You feel me? And like I said, I, I like David Benavidez. I'm a fan of David Benavidez. I like the way he carries himself, things of that nature. But when it comes to Canelo, man, Canelo is just an animal. Canelo is just an animal that everybody forget that he is that guy. Everybody forget that Canelo is that guy. Come on now. Come on now. Let's be real. Don't sleep on Nello, man. Don't sleep on Nello, man. And y'all boys are sleeping. Sleeping hard. Sleeping very hard. You feel me? So at the end of the day, man, look. Canelo ain't backing down from nothing. Canelo talking that talk. Canelo can shit talk with the best of them. And he'll let them know, man, look, don't nothing put fur in me. Don't nothing put fur in me. I'm a man's man. You feel me? I'm a man's man. And whenever y'all ready, we can go. But right now... I got a plan. I'm sticking to that plan. When that plan is over with or if something happens where that plan get derailed, then I'm going to come and holler at David Benavidez. But once again, um, Canelo letting people know, David is just like um, is just like Triple G, man. He's just like Triple G. Y'all say he was a monster, killed this, that, and third. But when I tame that monster, what y'all go say and what y'all go do? You feel me? For once, if Canelo go out there and beat David Benavidez for once, just get that man that's just doing his credit and... and, and just know y'all brought that to David Benavidez. And remember, Monty Brown told you so. Straight like that. And today, it's your boy Monty. It's the NSBC moving. Everybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. When donate OG Money on Cash App. Trey Hunter 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.